anticipation wise, I was so incredibly excited, you have no idea. I was, I've never seen a tornado before I went on the chase, so that's one thing I really, really wanted to do was see a tornado really bad. Otherwise, I was like, well, I've seen some pretty good storms, I've seen some hail, things like that, but I really want to see a tornado. Each car doesn't have internet access. Certain cars have laptops and can rotate. Uh, certainly the pilot, the lead car in front, usually has some sort of internet access because that's where Bart, the chair, sits and he's kind of the main person like, this is why I think we should go where we should go. We all put our input in and then uh, it's, it's all down to everyone on the chase. It's our chase is what he always says. You guys decide it's your chase. A lot of times we'll see them start to develop on the radar before we actually visually see them. There was a point where we were all, it was just all of us standing there just like, drop the tornado, drop the tornado, we're all yelling at this thing, come on! And then you could see it just getting lower and lower and lower, and then once it finally touched down, we're all just like, woo, screaming and yelling. the storm on the radar and where it's going and it just completely solidified all all those questions that I wasn't sure about when it came to severe weather I got answered as well as possible without taking the severe weather course and then now I just have a bunch of more questions that I can't wait to have answered when I take the class storm chasing nowadays where you actually go out in the plains for 10 days and you go you chase these storms that produce tornadoes like that a lot of people don't do that and you get to see things like that that you wouldn't be able to see just here in Valpo or just at a college campus